Yo, what's good plays? It's that man Camilo and welcome back to another scum video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to find cars, boats, and planes. So if you're one of those players that are having trouble finding any vehicles on the island, just sit back, relax, and let me show you how to find vehicles on Scum Island. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, we're in the big city here in the D4 sector. But you see where I'm circling around here with the mouse in this section is where the majority of the cars are. There are a whole bunch in the middle and there's some to the south as well. As you, right here, there's a gas station in this little corner down below and there's also a good amount of vehicles. Anyways, we're going to be going through the whole city. We're going to speed it up here because this is a huge city and, you know, it's, it's just so much time that it takes checking every single area on this map. So just sit back. You know, we're going to go through and just clap some zombies like that. We're going to check every single inch so here are four car garages you're going to want to check all the garages in the city because now in sense point seven all cars do not have gas in them and they don't have any battery and always their durability are going to be pretty low so you're going to want to look for gas canisters you're going to want to look for a car repair kit and you're also going to want to look for a battery if you're a solo player if you're a player that has a buddy or a group, you don't have to worry about batteries because they can push start the car and you can get it going that way. Um, anyways, you know, you, we're speeding around the city. We're looking around. We're going to go check the fire station here behind these big blue doors. You know, this is a good place as well to find car repair kits. They have some tool sheds in here. Here we go. Let's see what we can find. Oh, my God. We hit the jackpot, dudes. We already we found a car repair kit make some room for this oh my god and a gas canister you know i don't think i can fit this inside my quip yeah that's too big all right so we're gonna take that in our hands and uh you know now we're just gonna look for oh my god look in the corner there's a battery as well and a toolbox <laughs> what's the chances dude we found all three inside the same area that is insane all right, so we're prepared to find this vehicle already, man. All we need is to locate it, and we have everything we need to get it started. You see down here where I'm circling around with my mouse pointer? That's where the gas station is located. So we're going to head over there. We're going to fill this gas canister, and then we're going to continue on search. So let's go. We're going to speed it up again. So you're going to notice we speed it up a whole lot in this video. Like I said earlier, it's just such a huge area. If I just left it uncut and just a regular normal speed, you guys will be here for almost an hour watching this video. <laughs> so I know you don't want to sit here watching this video for that long. So we went ahead and we sped it up. One thing I will say is if you don't have too much gear, like you don't have anything rains or anything to take out a lot of zombies. And you might want to rethink hitting the city because cities always has a lot of zombies. If you're not an experienced player, I don't recommend hitting the city, but you know, for tutorial purposes, this is where we spawn. So this is what we're going to, what we're going to show you. I like to keep it as organic as I can, because I want you guys to see the struggle that I went through. I could simply just cut the video shorter and get straight to the point. And if you guys prefer to see videos that way, let me know down in the comment section and I'll continue to make it that way going forward. But, you know, to keep it organic and show you the struggle that you're going to go through on Scum Island, I wanted to at least include it in the video. So hopefully you guys enjoy that part. Let's go. We just keep clapping all of these zombies, you know, make sure it work out of all of them. Now, for those that don't know the lore, I'll call it zombies, but they're known as puppets because they're controlled by Tech One. They're not your traditional zombies. They're actually being controlled by the Tech One company. So that's why they call them puppets. You know, we checked that. We checked a few garages there. You know, we don't really need too much at this point, right? We're finding little clothes here and there. We're picking up some stuff. This area is kind of hot, so I don't really need this jacket, but I figured I'd take it for a little bit extra. Let's go ahead, finish loading this ammo. You see, here's another puppet. I'm telling you, these things are all over the place. Like every little section, you're going to find at least a couple of them. So be very careful. So we finally roll up to the gas station, as you can see here to the right side. Usually there'll be puppets around here and they like to have the explosive puppets around gas stations. So you want to be careful. You want to at least keep your distance. If you hear any beeping, 
you know, sit back, wait till you can spot them, shoot them and kill them. You know, thankfully, there was enough gas here to fill up the whole gas canister. Um, if you want, you can check the uh, the little convenience store here. Let's go ahead and, you know, we opted to hit the big old supermarket because over here there's a bunch of vehicles that spawn here as well. Well, there's a chance for them to spawn. It doesn't mean that you're going to find a bunch here, especially if it's late into the wipe. Most of the vehicles are probably going to be taken from here at this point, unless people are selling them to the traders and, you know, they're spawning over here. You're not going to have too much luck. Thankfully, we're, we're still near the beginning here, so we should have some good luck. But, uh, you know, it's not guaranteed. Just keep that in mind. So we've checked the whole supermarket area and we have not found a vehicle, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and hit the underground garages. And here I've had a lot of luck finding vehicles. Make sure you check every single garage in here. Now, and I think there's specific ones that vehicles spawn in. I'm not sure. I just like to check all of them just for loot. And for tutorial purposes, I'm just legit just going through and checking vehicles specifically. So you see, I'm not checking any of the boxes, anything in here. But, you know, you can find some decent gear in here as well. So don't neglect checking all the boxes while you're looking for a vehicle if you have space. Okay, so we didn't have any luck in there either. As you can see in this little section here that I'm checking on the map, there's uh, a couple of car spawns in here. There's nothing too serious, but we're going to check it real fast. And then from there, we're going to leave the city and we're going to go down, check the north side and the south side of the roads. There's like little towns you'll see on the map. There's going to be like two little orange spots there. So we're going to take our booty over there and see what we can find. And hey, as you can see we found ourselves of course a tractor it's not the ideal vehicle but you know what at least it has storage at least it can take us to where we need to go uh we're not gonna be very picky at this point let's put the gas in here let's repair it make it look nice because we don't want to crash it and explode it you know when we just found it after hours of search and so let's do this All right, so we're ready to go. Let's hop in this thing. One thing I, I didn't like about the tractor before is that the sound was super loud so people can hear you from a mile away. I heard that they put the sound down a bit, so let's see. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. They turned down the sound by a ton. That is a great quality of life change. I'm digging it. Let's get it. All right, so we have our vehicle, you know, hopefully you guys took away some good information from that. We're going to take this thing over to a gas station, which you guys don't need to see. And, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little journey. I know it was a little long, but like I said, I like to leave it in the video so you guys can see exactly the struggle that you need to go through to find vehicles sometimes. Hopefully, it's not that hard for you. Sometimes I find vehicles real fast. It's, you know, very rare that it takes me a long time. Of course, when I'm making this video, it took me longer <laughs> to find a damn vehicle. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and let's move on and show you guys how to get boats. This will be much shorter, I promise. All right. So we're checking the dock here in this location. And as you can see, we found the boat here. Now, I don't think I got to go over, you know, checking scum map too much because I mentioned it in my last few videos. If you're not familiar with scummap.com, go ahead and check out my last video that I put out, the how to find food and water. And there I do an explanation of how to use scum map and the filters. And it shows you how to filter by v by anything you want to you want to find you want to find vehicles you want to find food you want to find outposts pois anything so in this case you're gonna go ahead and filter by boats and it's going to show you where the boats spawn on the map so we found one here we went ahead and we were like hold up why is this thing not starting and then we forgot that we have to unanchor the boat so make sure you guys keep that in mind you want to unanchor the boat. Thankfully, the boat does come with a little bit of fuel and a little bit of health. So you guys should be good to start it up. 
once you find the boat however you're gonna want to locate the gas station closest to the shore right like off a of pier that way you can take that thing over there go ahead and get that that boat filled up um, eventually after that you're gonna want to get a repair kit so you can fix it up and finally you want to put a lock on this thing you don't want somebody to just come through and grab your boat and be gone with it so put a lock on that thing asap you probably want to get a lock in hand before you even find it all right so moving on we're going to show you guys how to locate some airplanes so if you look at your map you're going to see b2 airport and you're going to see d4 military air base in these locations, you're going to find airplanes inside of the hangar. That's the only locations that they spawn at. So in B2, they have two hangars to the south of the airport. So those are the two that you're going to check. This is the first one that I'm checking here. We're going to go ahead and try to make our way through here. We'll speed up the video so you guys can kind of just see exactly what we went through here. We want to avoid all of these mechs because there's at least a few of them. You see, there was one to the left there. There's one to the right. And there's just a bunch of them here. All right, anyways, we're going to speed it up from here on out. Let's go. All right, so we got mechs all over this place. You see, even over there to the to the left side, that was an explosive puppet. We made sure it work out of him. Um, we're going to go in here and try to avoid these shots because they're aggressive in here, man. These mechs are no joke. So protect your neck. You don't want to get clapped out here. Trust me. We're going to close the door there so we can go ahead and get rid of these zombies. You know, take out. Oh, my God. Four shots on that. You got to get good with them shots, homie. All right. Let's keep moving through. Keep moving through. Um, Hopefully, there's an airplane in this last hangar, man, because we don't want to have to go all the way to D4 just to find the airplane. That would suck. So... I'll take these guys out real easy. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go upstairs and take a look. And there's nothing in here, unfortunately. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and head to D4 and see what we can find. And here we go. We were able to locate the airplane over here. We found a gas canister as well. So we're going to go ahead and fill this thing up. It's not going to give us too much gas. But, you know, it's going to give us at least enough to get this thing off the ground. So, let's go. All right, we're going to keep looking around, make sure there's no mechs. Let's go ahead and put this gas canister in here because we'll need it later. Now, we're going to go check around, see where these mechs are at because we don't want them shooting us down. So, there's one right there, as you can see, to the left side. There's one way back there as well, but he's not close enough so we don't have to worry about him. And there's none to the right side. All right, well... Let's go ahead and let's get inside this airplane and let's make some moves. We're going to just go straight out. We're going to go to the right and try to get in the air as fast as possible. Wish us luck, guys. All right, we're going to do this real fast. We can't take the chance. Oh, 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 go up, up, up. Let's go. Oh, hopefully we don't crash into these trees. Oh, my goodness. I don't consider myself the best flyer, but man, man, oh man, what a maneuver. Let's go. All right, so we're going to want to get this thing to a gas station ASAP, right? Because you see the gas, it doesn't have too much. So here we go. We located a gas station. Now we have to make a landing. You know, I haven't done too many landings yet, so... <laughs> I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> Hopefully we don't crash. All right, here we Steady, steady. Steady. We're going to try to land right here on the road and hopefully we don't hit a tree. Oh my God, that's kind of close. All right, we're good. We're good. Uh, hopefully we don't take too much damage here. Let's see. Oh my God, we didn't take any damage there. What? Oh, we took damage right there. What happened? We just lost like 20% of our health just from turning around. All right, so we're going to try to get this thing a little bit closer to the gas station. Not too close, because remember I mentioned earlier, there are those beeping zombies that they will take you out pretty easily. So 
And look, we have some crops here to the left side if we're feeling hungry. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get our gas canister. And we're going to head on over and fill this thing up, man. All right, I'm seeing a lot of puppets on the road to the left side. Not seeing too many in here. So let's see if we can sneak in and fill it up and then run away without having to fight any. Yeah, you see? You hear the the beeping puppet over there? And little, my man he he over there, he don't play. He will take you. Oh, man, hurry up. I think we can get this quick enough. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. You don't know, man. My man has his Nikes on. He's not playing. We out. We're going to wait till we're closer to the airplane and we're going to turn around and just shoot this thing because I don't think he's going to stop chasing us. One. I guess I didn't hit him in the head. And two. There you go. Easy. Just like that. All right. Let's put the gas in here. We'll speed it up. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this. You know, I know it's not really cut up and straight to the point. But like I said, I want it to be a bit more organic. You guys can kind of see the struggle that we have to go through to get most of this. I did cut it up somewhat, though. That way you don't have to watch all the struggle, right? All right, let's speed this up. Honestly, surprised the beeper didn't aggro me. Oh, here he goes. Boom. Take him out real quick. We have some more coming. We'll just take them out as well. One, two. The head tapper. Put the gas in here. That'll pretty much give us everything we need as far as the airplane goes. We may need to repair it a bit, but I think we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing off the ground. Um, <laughs> you know, after all this work, it would suck if we went ahead and blew up at this point. So let's try to be a bit careful. You know, take your time. Take your time. Easy, easy. All right, here we go. Hope, hopefully the wings don't hit. Oh, perfect. Let's go. And up we go. Just like that. Successful run from D2 all the way over here to get some gas. And we're back in the air. Just enjoying our time and enjoying the view. Man, what a view it is. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be all for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our walkthrough of how to find vehicles. You know, it was a whole lot to put in one video. Try to not make it as long. And hopefully I achieved that. But you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Camilo. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Much love. Much respect. And until next video, we out. Peace.